Hey guys, just doing another random catch up. Nothing to do with just that mess from last night. Just another short, hopeful short, anyways. I know I go off on tangents sometimes, so I do tangentially go off on rambles. But hey, that is why this is called The Random Ramble. But yeah, anyway, cue that intro. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever the fluff you are. I'm sat in St. Peter's Square. Not where I thought I was going to be sat, because I forgot that the town hall is being um, rest under restoration and will be under restoration until 2024, I believe. So yeah, I'm not in Wigan. I'm not in my room at home. I'm out in Manchester. Just having another random day out. And I think some things need to be said, and I'm not mentioning anything about rugby, but something along that lines is I think a few people seem to forget that I am part of the LGBTQ community. So there has been some comments and a few things that have been said which have been hidden and muted. So come along with some of my videos and some of the posts that I have put up. So a few people seem to forget or don't realise where I am actually in all of this. Outwardly, yes, I am male. Yes, I have a female name. I still technically present as male, but it's more kind of like, you know, non-gendered binary, you know, gender neutral sort of thing. It's all in that area of how I feel. My clothing is dictated by my moods and at the moment I'm a little bit on the more depressed side. A good friend of mine has been in hospital now for three months. So, no. No. That is not good. He's ventilated, he is in ICU. He's been in before, not with this, but a long time ago. And I don't, it doesn't bear him. I can't lose more people. I've lost people to war. I've lost people to suicide. I've lost people to knife crime, to gun crime. All right, yeah, I've lost two, a friend out in the States a long time ago to a hurricane. But with what's going on at the moment, the world is against everything. Everyone's moods have changed. Everyone is out for themselves. And it is becoming incredibly ugly. Society as a whole is becoming ugly. There's noises of the city kick on around. Society as a whole is becoming very, very ugly. Very self-orientated. Incredibly selfish. There's no thoughts of helping others. Nothing going on. Everything to some people might be sunshine and rainbows, but it's it's not. Everything is just gone tits up. You know, it's been nearly what? It'll be two years in November since I quit smoking. And sometimes I just want to go to the shop and buy a packet of bags. Things don't work out as you expect. Things don't roll as you want them to. But you just gotta to try to get on with it, but there's the way people are at the moment, with people just being constantly ugly to each other. Nothing is helping anything. And with all of this still half of these rules that are in place, to do with COVID. It doesn't help because you don't know what you're doing right or wrong. No one knows what's right or wrong anymore. So you just gotta just constantly look over your shoulder. And for someone who used to be really positive, who now just feels isolated. Nothing's good anymore. You can do as much good as you want in the world, but someone's going to be there to smash you with a hammer. If 
but this is more you do you but you think of the consequences of what you do and what you say because those actions that you do and those words that you say can come back and bite you I'm being polite with some of the things that have been said things that have been on some of my previous videos that have been said are quite rude and incredibly nasty and I've let it slide because I don't want to get into a war of world to slam the match with people but some of those, pe some of those people need to realise maybe people within their own circle feel like that and need to get out some of them need to take a reality check and look at themselves first before they say something because they ain't bloody perfect Moving on from that. Since the vlog to do with football is doing quite well, I will be back there on Saturday afternoon watching Latics take on Pompey. So I do have a couple of friends there in Portsmouth, so um, yeah, that's going to be interesting. But no, I'm not expecting Latix to smash up the league and absolutely piss the league. It's not going to be HMS piss the league this season. Back to reality, it's stabilisation, yeah, mid-table mediocrity, build. New owners come out and said that it's not all that fussed if we don't get, get it. it will look at the situation and go at it that way and everything else. That's brilliant for that. At least there's a club at the end of the day. At least there's still a club there. The rest of it, my other vlogs, I do not know. Anything to do with Sheffield or anything like that, that will come at a later date. I still don't know where I am with that. Yet. I'm still waiting on um, if I need another set of blood tests or if we need to do another face to face interview or more video calls with me or what. I don't know yet. Might, might be till next year, so yeah. Those of you who are wondering if there is going to be a scare fest or anything to do with Alton Towers this year, no. I'm not going this year. Maybe next year. Time hasn't worked out that way. Alton is off the cards this year. Also, as well, those of you, because I know I have mentioned it a few times in some previous things. No, I don't, to be honest, I don't think I'm going to be doing anything to do with the NFL vlogs. I'm probably not going to be, I know I'm definitely not watching NFL live this, this year. So, no, no London American football games for me. And I don't think there's going to be anything coming that way neither. So that one might be a little while out. I might do a scare, I might do a scare thing at Blackpool, depending on what my moods are and if I get a chance to. Definitely want to go back to Blackpool again and see if I can do uh, do their Halloween horrors or whatever they want to call it this year. To do with that, yeah, it's um, it, it's all interesting. The wind is kicking up a bit, here, so you might get a little bit of um, farts and um, coming at you. But not a lot I can do about that. Anyway, I think I've rambled on long enough. Anyway, signing out.